All right, this is eBay or YouTube video number seven. This is about making coin rings. Basically, you make coin rings out of almost any type of coin you can think of as long as it's fairly big enough. Basically, you're looking for like quarter size or bigger. But uh, the best ones that you get the most money for are obviously made out of like rarer coins or silver coins, etc., precious metals. You're going to want to go for those and just make them as you can, especially if you buy the like silver quarters off of eBay. I mean, even if you do break one now and then and it doesn't work out, you can just resell it for silver value and you're still not going to lose anything, especially if you get the coins at a good deal where you got it at lower than silver value, then you're going to profit either way. And uh, yeah, to do this, you're going to need uh, a coin center punch, which is just search that on, on uh, eBay and there's tons of things you can buy. There's tons of options. Just take a look and just order one. I recommend buying uh, this one here. It's like the coin set like that with all the punches. Those types are always the best. They might cost a little bit more, but it's well worth it in the long run because you're going to be working with these a lot. That, and you'll also need a metal finger sizer, or a metal ring finger sizer. And that's basically what you put the ring on and beat it with a hammer. Oh, that's right, you're also going to need a, a hammer. I forget which type you order, but I believe it is the, uh, it's like the plastic hammer basically plastic tip hammer I don't remember if it's plastic or rubber that you use to be honest it's been so long since I looked into this product let me just type it in quick yeah I'd recommend just going with a plastic one but I mean you can try rubber too here maybe Google can tell me All right, looks like some people use a steel hammer after all, but uh, most of the people I've seen were using plastic, and I mean, you might even be able to get away with like a harder rubber. Just don't want it to be too rubbery, so you can actually get some force into the ring. It takes quite a bit of hammering to get it rounded and perfectly shaped. But uh, yeah, these things go for ridiculous amounts of money, like just a regular quarter sells for $25 all day. And some of these other ones that are like pure silver and such, you're looking at a hundred dollar ring all day. It's a Morgan silver dollar ring and it's selling for $95. I mean, it'd take maybe an hour to make one of these. So you're looking at making, say the ring cut or the coin itself costs you 10 bucks. It's probably going to cost less than that. I mean, you're turning $10 into $95 with an hour or less worth of work. You can't really go wrong there. You make 10 of those in a day and, you're really going to be making some money. And they sell fairly quickly too, especially for like older coins that are rarer coins. Those kinds of things sell real quick because they're more in demand. That's just a rarer thing. People look for that kind of stuff because they collect them. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Best wishes and happy money making.